Well, Mark, we, we said about our rub with the green and our luck hopefully turning at some point. It didn't seem to tonight, despite the one uh, the nil-nil draw. Sorry, just let me uh, talk me through the ninety minutes in, in your eyes. Uh, I thought we competed really well against uh, a tough team to play against. It's an aerial bombardment. You know they use what they've got really well. Lots and lots of long throws, uh, balls in your box, and we defended it brilliantly. Um, played some really good football. We just couldn't find that little bit of quality in and around the box when we had our real good play got us in. You know, we missed a couple of really good chances. Uh, Morgan Williams is four yards out, heads it wide, and then Kofi gets in on goal and keeper makes a save. So, but listen, this is a real tough place. I mean, the pitch is there's about eight players on crutches in the tunnel. There's and ours. Whether that's the surface, I don't know. Um, we get a red card. We're still the dominant team with 10 men. I've just seen the tackle back. It's not a red card. Never in a million years. It's a yellow card. But the referee looked like he couldn't wait to get his, his red card out. Um, yeah, so w w the pitch is an advantage. So they're used to it. I couldn't see the other side of the pitch. So it's a really difficult atmosphere with the lights. And um, I thought the referee was poor for us tonight um, but when we take all that into account we've got a really good point at a place that has beat Gateshead here two weeks ago beat Woking on Saturday so a good point going right back to the start almost immediately after kick off you Matt Worthington go off injured I mean it's quite frustrating for himself I guess with getting back into the squad and getting back into some game time and, and suddenly being uh, well, you saw him on crutches at the end there. I mean, it's, it's not ideal. Do you have any, any news on him? No, like I said, there's about eight players on crutches in there. Um, he just he jumped up to get just before the kickoff. He just jumped up, did a, like a little knee knee jump, and it landed on the surface, and his ankle went. And uh, yeah, that was it, first minute. So their guy came on sub, twisted his ankle after 30 seconds. He's he's on crutches. So yeah, interesting. And the game itself, I mean, defensively you had you knew those long throw-ins were going to be hard to, to contend with, but you you held on well with them. You had Jake Wano and Morgan Williams quite dominant in the air. Ollie Wright coming out when he had to and collecting the ball. Were you impressed with how they dealt with that? I thought we were really comfortable. I thought we did, dealt with every aerial threat really well. We know that we've got a top goalkeeper, two centre halves been magnificent, three centre halves with Dom. Uh, Finn came on, won his headers. We defended brilliantly. I never felt we were going to concede a goal. It was just whether we were going to find that moment to, to score the winner. And that sort of going forward, I mean, it was quite frustrating again tonight. You didn't get those chances. You had young Kofi Shaw who's come on for his debut and it probably maybe could have put it away on another day. But you've had chances throughout the game where maybe on another day you, you score one or two of those. Yeah, I think if you score first, we win the game. You know, they're a really tough team to play against. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with a point. Tremendous support on a Tuesday night away at Tamworth. Fully behind the team, um, so yeah, a really good point for us. I mean, just mentioning the, the red card there, Morgan Williams. It's quite frustrating that you're, you're so dominant in the game and then you lose that bit of momentum there. I mean, the momentum stayed to some extent, but you had to make some changes. You brought Finn on as well. I mean, yeah, it sort of affected the game for you. Well, we still tried to. We wanted. We still thought we'd dominate the ball with ten men as we did, and we tried to go and win it. And uh, we got a great chance with Kofi. And, um, I'm sure in, in the weeks to come, if he gets those kind of chances, he'll finish him off. But uh, oh, listen, we have to we have to give our players praise, the club praise today, the fans, supporters, good performance all round. Yeah, 220 Yeovil Town fans making the trip up to the Midlands. I mean, they travel in great numbers, <laughs> especially on a cold, dark Tuesday night. I mean, just how magnificent were they this evening? Oh, it's outstanding. You know, it's. On a Tuesday night, it's some it's some effort, and uh, and the, the big thing for me was they got behind the team, and and, uh, and that's I think you see this players at the end, they want to stay there and and really show their appreciation of the support, and we need that going forward. We need uh, Saturday, we need energy in the stadium, we need we need the boys, girls, in the Thatcher's end to really get behind the team because when they start, the whole stadium stands up and, and we need that energy sometimes and uh, I can guarantee if they do that then we play an awful lot better. Well brilliant, thanks Mark and we'll speak again Thursday. Thank you.